Okay, so now we have the uh, GT3 in the Baofeng UV5R. We're just going to do a short comparison. We'll start out with the manuals. As we can see before, this is the GT3. Obviously, we have color. A lot more pictures in here to kind of follow along with. Easily go through the process, assembly process, and whatnot. In here, we have the UV5Rs. Uh, black and white, a lot of the pictures. Okay pictures, but just not as visually enticing. Anyway, next we'll go on to the shells. As we can see, like I said before, the GT3 is uh, made with PC as long as as, it's, as well as ABS, which um, reduces the static and um, adds to the waterproofness, anti-glare, along with dustproof. And here we have the Baofeng, Baofeng UB5R. A little bit less durable, just um, a little bit smaller, it doesn't fit in your hand as well. Next we'll go to the flashlights. Both have very good flashlights. Um, I got no complaint on either one. The difference between the GT3 is it's more built in. Just making it a little more durable. Don't have to worry about breaking that off. Such. As you can see. Very similar. Next we have the display screens. I would say this is the biggest difference between the two. As we can see with the UV5R. We have the white in the background, dark letters. A lot harder to see in that natural sunlight. Um, forcing you to keep pushing the button, bringing on that screen, um, resulting in that lost battery. And here we have the GT3, as you can see. Black in the background, white letters. Shows up a lot nicer in that natural light. Um, resulting in not having to push in the buttons, not having to turn that backlight on. Um, just lasting a lot longer. And now we have the improved speaker to the GT3. It's just a lot louder, a lot clearer. And now we'll, um, we'll go, we'll take these apart and look at the circuits. Alright, so here we've taken them apart and we're looking at the uh, different circuit boards. Now on this side we have the GT3 and over here we have the UV5R. As you can see with the lights, a little bit different on this one, it's more built in. Now the first thing they've improved here is the power amplifier, I see, as you can see marked by one here. Now what they did here, uh, they made it just a lower crossover distortion. A lot low circuit current. Um, next we'll look at the frequency modulated receiver trip, which is also nicely modified. Um, it has a powerful low IF digital audio processor, um, just resulting in a better sound volume in uh, varying reception conditions. And next we'll, uh, we'll flip it over to look at the radio frequency. I see. As you can see here it is, marked by the twos. And here, um, with the upgrade, we have uh, a better SQ, enhances the anti-interference ability, which also, this improves the uh, receiver, AGV, switching noise when signal strength changes severely. So there you have it, um, just a basic outline. A lot of the same features, just those minor changes, which make it uh, better all, overall better user experience. So thank you.